Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. This is part 14 of online shopping cart project. In this video, part 14, we are going to discuss the coding for updating the products bill and removing the unwanted products from the shopping cart. So let's open the project. Let's add some products to the shopping cart. Here we are, have added 3 products to the shopping cart. So here we have the total products 3 and the sum 25,000, 1000 and 800. We have 26,800 as the total price. Now let's try to update the quantity of this Krishna painting. We set it to 2. So the products are increased by 1 and the total price is also increased by 1000. So we are going to discuss what happens when user tries to update some value in this text box. Whenever user tries to update some value in the text box, we have this text box in the design mode and this is having an event on text change. So the on text change get events get fired and that event is notified as TST product quantity underscore text change event. So if you see in the code behind, we have this text change event. So inside this text change event, initially we are getting the text box from the sender object then we are getting the current item. The current item specifies the, the item of the data list on which the user is trying to do some updates or remove from it from the card. Then we, from the current item, we get the product ID by doing a, using the find control method. And we already discussed, like we have introduced this HF hidden field product ID. And we are, if you see in the design mode, we have this HF product ID and that product ID is having a value of the actual product ID. And also we are getting the available stock from the current item. Once we get all these three items, we check whether the TST quantity, if it is empty or is equal to zero or is equal to one. If the value in this text box is empty, zero or one, then we are setting the value as one because the default value itself is 1. Then if it is empty 0 or 1, then we don't need to do any action. We need, don't need to update the bill. We simply keep the value as 1. In the else condition, we have, we check. In the else condition, we check whether the session is empty or null or not. If it is not equal to null, that means the user has added some products to the shopping cart. Then in the shop, then we check the quantity which the user is trying to add. For example, here the available stock is 8 and if I add 9, then I should get a message alert product buyout should not be more than the available stock. I'm getting this alert over here. So first then we check if the quantity, we have already got the text box in, if the text of that text box is less than or equal to the available stock, then we are good. Then we have to go inside this part. If it is not less than, if it is greater than, then we change the text quantity to 1 and display the alert message. Product buyout should not be more than available stock. We have got this message in this case. Suppose we again enter 9. So when I am coming out of this text box, it is automatically getting changed to 1 because of the else part. So let's see what we do in, in the if part. In the if part, we convert the entire session into a data table. Then from that data table, we select a particular row for that, from, for that same product ID. We have already discussed how we are adding the values in the shopping cart and that way that from that data table, we only select the row for that product ID. For example, here the product ID is 1. So we will get and select only that row related to that product ID. Then what we do, we find the index at what row number does the, does the details of the product ID 1 exist. Then we change the product quantity because what the user has done, the user has tried is trying to update some value for example here I enter 4 so the total products and the bill is automatically getting increased so 
what I do is I change the product quantity of that particular product in the data table and finally I again add that data table inside the session object. So for that particular product the session object product quantity is increased and it is replaced. How we are replacing? We are replacing we are putting the value from the text box inside the data table and again that data table we are assigning to the session. So after once all this is done we are calling the update total bill. What this update total bill does is it goes through all the items we have already discussed in our previous video it goes through all the items and then find the price label the product quantity and the product price the product price equal to the the price label and the product quantity for example the price label is 1000 and the quantity is 4000 so here it becomes 1000 into 4 4000 then that price is updated in the total price and the product count is also updated so like this it goes for all the items for example here we have three items so for all the three items it will look through and finally it will update the total price and total pr product into text box txt products and txt price so in this way we are updating the products total bill the next part we are going to discuss is what happens when user tries to remove the product from the cart when user clicks on remove from cart so we have already discussed this uh, entire data list is there we have this data list so in this data list we have a button btn remove from cart and that button is having an event btn remove from cart underscore click and inside we have binded the product id so that the code can decide for code can decide which product the user is trying to remove if the user is clicking on that button that means the user is removing the clicking the button for the particular product id from the command argument we can decide that so let's discuss this event from the code behind in the code behind we have this event btn remove from cart so if we initially we get the product id from the command argument then we check if the session is null or not if it is not null then we convert convert that session into a data table and from the data table we get only that row for the particular product id which the user is trying to get removed so we get the data row using this query then if we check whether the data row is null or not if it is not null then we remove that entire data row because the user want to remove that product so once the data row is removed we from the data table we assign that data table again to the session so the session is finally updated with the removed product and then again we call the product method get my cart so in this method get my get my cart we have already discussed this entire method will automatically display the updated cart and from this up, get my cart we are calling update total bill so the update total bill the total products and total price will also be updated for example if i remove this product so it's 4000 and 4 products 1000 into 4 4000 and 4 products so this way and if i remove it again this is empty so we have this else part in the get my cart which we have already discussed so this will take care of everything and it will show the shopping cart is empty so let's put a breakpoint and debug this let me add few products to the shopping cart Okay, so let me try to update the total bill. Let's see, 6. So it goes in the TST product change quantity. Let's do F11. So if you see, we have got the uh, available stock as 8, the product ID, the current item, and here we can check what is the quantity. The text is 6, so it will not go in the if part, it will go in the else part. Here we have the session is not null. So it will check the quantity is 6 and the available stock is 10. So 
we are good and we are going inside the if function so if we see from the session we can make out like these are the when products which are added to the shopping the product id is 1 3 and 5 so the product id which the user is trying to change is 3 so what i get is we, we get the row the row number is the row number is 7 so here we here we get the row and from that row we find the index the index is 1 so the product id what we see is the product id what we see is, the product id what we see is 3 and for that product id 3 we see the index as 1 because it starts from 0 0 1 and 2 so the product id 3 the index is 1 and so for that data row for dt row 1 product quantity we are changing with the new number 6 and we are updating in the session so if we see this table after updation we see that the product quantity is updated by 6 so once it is updated by 6 it will go and call the update bill so update bill what we'll do is it will loop through three times and it will update everything so the text total bill and the total products everything is increased when we click on remove from cart we have a method here it is getting removed from cart so this was the tutorial about adding the products to cart changing the number of quantity which the user wants to buy and also about removing the product from the shopping cart and in this video we see how the total products and the total price of the customer details and customer bills are getting updated so in the next part we will see how the user details like name phone number email id address and all these details are getting saved in the database so that the admin of this website can see what order is placed so this was about today's video for next video you can subscribe our channel also you can like our facebook page all the details are being displayed in this video if you have any query regarding understanding this video or any part you are not able to get please let us know you can comment on our youtube channel or also you can drop message on our facebook page thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe thank you